My wife got mad at me because I got life insurance on me and I didn't get any of her. She said, you didn't get any life insurance on me. I said, well, baby, you don't work. That's not right. What will happen to you guys if something were to happen to me? We're going to be sad. <laughs> we ain't going to have to move and no shit like that, the kids. <laughs> kids going to get a 32-year-old Puerto Rican stepmother. That the fuck going to happen? <laughs> oh, yes. I've been with a black woman my whole life. Something happened to her, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I've done my time, fuck y'all. <laughs> you happy for Serena? Be happy for me, goddammit. <laughs> my wife said, well, I love you so much if something were to happen, I don't, I don't know if I'd ever get married again. Would you get married? Not, not at the funeral, but eventually. <laughs> Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you just have to let that man cook, okay? Let's just call it for what it is. Sometimes you have got to let that man cook because he is revealing some deep, dark, not necessarily uncommon thought process that probably the greater majority of African-American men are probably thinking. You see, this video comes courtesy of none other than D.L. Hughley. Um, one of the kings of comedy, I used to love the kings of comedy, I'm not gonna lie, uh, shout out, you know, Bernie Mac and Sid and uh, Steve Harvey, they were the kings of comedy. So I've seen it ever since, ever since I was a kid, it was awesome, it was everything, right? Not necessarily the biggest fan of D.L. Hughley, but you know, this comedy hits every now and again. And when he said what he said in this particular video, it basically reaffirmed a rhetoric that maybe a lot of black men aren't saying it, but I can almost guarantee that the greater majority of y'all are thinking it, all right? So my man basically says that if his wife dies, and I'm sure it was tongue-in-cheek and in a joking manner, because everybody laughed, but deep down I kind of feel that it's true, that if his wife passes away, uh, his kids were going to get them a 32-year-old Puerto Rican stepmama. You see, y'all sitting here thinking that there's this rhetoric that, you know, who you dating and the group of individuals that you're dating within that particular period of time are the only groups of women that you're actually going to date. Yeah. Like if you start with dating African-American women, that's just all you're going to date and be with for the rest of your life. Right. And it, like I said, man, it's all good because me, I don't give a fuck. I, don't, I, I genuinely do not care. A lot of people like to believe. And I made 20,000 videos on this before about the idea that everybody wants to believe that because my wife is Asian, that I only date Asian women. No, not true. That does not mean that I am not attracted to black women, African-American women, African, African women, whatever. Right. That's completely not true. But at the same time, you hear a lot of men that are married and we're just going to say to women in the west i don't want to necessarily specifically lock it in and pinpoint it and be needlepoint with it and say it's just black women because that's not fair and you know that we're not going to spread that rhetoric that's not how it truly is it's more so relative to just women in the west period a lot of guys black white or indifferent most of the time if they've been locked into a relationship for many years married to a woman for a certain amount of time Chances are, if they do choose to remarry, the greater majority of them probably won't. But if, hypothetically, they choose to get remarried, high percentage chance is not going to be a woman that was like their wife, right? Not necessarily same race, background, ethnic background, or whatever, but a lot of things, right, are probably not going to be the same as the woman that they've been locked into a relationship for many, many years, okay? Let's just be real. Black guys probably aren't going to remarry black women. White guys probably aren't going to remarry white women if they've been in a relationship for 40, 50 years or so. It's just probably not going to happen. And that could be for many reasons, right? It's hard to pinpoint specifically what reason you can come to your own conclusions. But at the same time, that 32-year-old Puerto Rican stepmama <laughs> is probably just what the doctor ordered. And the beautiful thing is a lot of people will probably overlook the fact that he specifically said 32 years of age definitely age appropriate for a guy who's in his older years you know a lot of guys you know age gap relationships you know a lot of guys are going overseas to date younger women probably 23 18 23 or something like that that kind of seems to be the vibe 
So the fact that he said 32, that hit right on the nail, a girl that's probably old enough to have experiences, but at the same time that could take care of him, of course. Um, but at the same time, he can relate to on some level, right? Right, it's hard for me to believe that a man of his age, you can say a man of my age or any age, can relate to a young lady that's 18. Again, if the opera, if the um, objective is to get married, right? Hard for you to find somebody that you can relate to on that level. But if you're just trying to have a little fun, then I guess, you know, as long as it's the age of consent and, you know, age of, you know, legality, there probably ain't much you care much outside of that, right? But again, he said what a lot of guys are thinking. You can take what you will from it. I'm just saying he's saying what a lot of y'all are thinking, right? He is saying what a lot of y'all are thinking. Once y'all out of y'all relationship, the relationship that you just can't get away from for some got off a reason. This is the deep, this is the deep side of it because I hear it with my friends and shit like that and how some people are miserable. They're just not happy in their relationships. And it's not all people, it's not all relationships, but at the same time, you know, there's some challenges that come with being married. I'm not gonna say that, you know, that's just specifically between, you know, black men, black women, white guys, white women, you know, that can be with any relationship. Every marriage has its own set of challenges. It just depends on what it is. But at the same time, a lot of guys, once they've gone through it and, you know, knock on wood, you never wish nothing to happen to your significant other, unless you genuinely have a distaste for them. But if something happened to them and you're the guy and you're the one that's still living, you would hope that you'd be able to live your life and go on about your life, getting an opportunity to quote unquote start over, if that's the way you want to look at it. High percentage chance, A, you're probably not going to date somebody your age. It's crazy. You're probably not going to date somebody your age. If you're 50, 60, 65, whatever, chances are you're probably not looking to date 50, 60, 65 year old women. And that's across the board. It don't matter where you are in the world. Chances are you're going to go a little younger. Right? It gives you a chance to relive your life. Like you have that vitality, that youthfulness. Hopefully, if you still have your faculties about you, when you still have your wits about you, and you can actually travel and, you know, find you a nice, beautiful young lady <laughs> across the pond or, you know, across the world. High percentage chance a lot of y'all going to do that. Just gonna call it for what it is, man. When you're widowed, with all due respect, I could see a lot of guys just looking for a change, right? And you know, they're not really looking for the same thing that they already had. That's just me. Maybe I see it differently. Maybe you guys see it differently. All I know is that when he said 32 year old Puerto Rico's that mama, it resonated with me because I know he was saying what a lot of y'all are thinking. He was saying what a lot of y'all were thinking. Granted, it came out as a joke. It was meant to be a joke. It had its punchline in there specifically to be a joke. But deep down inside, I think he meant that. Honestly, I can see D.L. Hughley remarrying a beautiful Hispanic Latina young lady. It's just the truth. <laughs> I can see a lot of guys starting over with women from Asia or women from, and I wouldn't say start over, let's not say start over. Let's say I could see him pivoting or transitioning into a relationship with somebody. Unlike what he previously came out of. And maybe you guys see it different. If you do, by all means, comment section below. Let me know if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You already know what it is, man. Sign up to the Patreon, man. I got some shit over there. I don't want to go into details. I just got some shit over there. I just want y'all to check out. I ain't asking much. What is that? Five dollars a month? Ten dollars if you feel a little frisky, <laughs> right? Nothing crazy, but definitely some content that I think is noteworthy for you guys to check out. Some shit from the vault. Some things that I don't necessarily want to post on the tube. Um, and also, man, if you haven't already gotten your International Passport Association IPA hoodie, that should be linked below the video as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, not gonna waste too much more of your time. Shout out to D.L. Hughley. Cause you were you 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 spoke the truth that a lot of men were thinking. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.